Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with another process video in the Rediscover Your Stash series. And this is a series that I'm working on with Sarah Scraps where we take an item from our stash and show you some different ways to use that item that you may not have thought of. And we had um, a bunch actually of different subscribers and viewers who requested that we work with these thicker word sheets. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today, and I apologize for the delay in getting this video posted. It was absolutely me because I definitely had a struggle with showing you guys um, these three unique techniques to use with these thickers. So I hope you will like what I came up with, and we will see if we can inspire you to use your thicker words in some new and unusual ways. So do make sure you also stop by and check out uh, Sarah's video showing you some techniques that she has come up with. Um, so what I am doing right now is I am taking a sheet of these stickers and I have them in craft and also in black. So I am taking the craft stickers and I just arranged them in kind of a random pattern so that the words and the hearts were going every which direction across the top half of this page. And so now I'm just taking my watercolors and this is just the cheap watercolor set from Michaels. And I am adding blues and turquoises colors in between all of my words as well as the hearts. And I'm just kind of doing this randomly. So I want the blue and the turquoise to kind of meld in together and look like it is there intentionally. And I'm just adding on kind of different layers of all of those different colors. And I'm just doing this around those thickers. So I am essentially using them as a stencil. And so what I am, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove these once everything dries and so I'm going to have some white space left behind. And there you can kind of see what I created with that. So now that was technique one, using these as a stencil with my watercolors or with any kind of mixed media. And then the second thing I did is used it as a template to cut out those hearts. And then I put the entire sheet on some um, foam adhesive, just fun foam, and popped them up. So it's kind of hard to see. You can see it a little better in the close-up. But the second way that I use those thickers was to create these little open pocket areas. And by putting that 3D adhesive in the back, it creates some dimension. So on the layout itself, it looks like I have four hearts that are open um, and they're popped up off the page. So it does create some dimension. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my two photos and I am mounting them just on black cardstock and then this uh, black and white um, kind of diagonal stripe paper. And this is from On Trend 2. By my mind's eye and it was just a leftover piece that was in my scrap bin and then I also grabbed a project life card from the good times I think this is from the good times value kit um, and I'm just cutting the edge off so that I just get those hearts and I'm going to use those next to my photo and then what I decided was that that black and white was just a little bit too much so I'm going back and trimming down both of my photos to make it a little bit less bold around those two photos and these are two pictures that my daughter took at the movie theater. We went to see Moana, and there were some really good life lessons in there for my daughter, some things that we're currently working on with her. And so I kind of wanted to document that for her. And so I have these two photos. One is her just with the display, and then one is just the movie uh, poster. And then I'm going to use my thicker words in the third way, which is to create a longer phrase using multiple stickers. So this time I pulled out that same exact set of thickers in my second color, which is black, and I put a bunch of the words together to create life of and then dream were all words that were on that sheet. And then I took the S off of a different word and melded it on to dream so that my whole title ends up being life of dreams. And that was kind of how this movie talked about, you know, living this dream and contributing and being brave and strong and going after what you want, those types of things. And these are all messages that we work on with my daughter. So I really wanted to emphasize that for her. So then I'm taking these Amy Tangerine um, accent stickers and they're kind of clear. And I'm adding those just as kind of details behind my photos. So I have the little one up there on the top photo and then I'm adding this floral um, on that bottom photo. And then I have the one that looks kind of like a doily down there on the bottom. And that's just going to add some detail to that bottom half of the page. So the majority of the design elements are up in that top half. So I wanted to have something to kind of balance it and bring the eye down to the bottom where the photos are. 
And so right now I'm just looking to see if there's any um, little washi strips in this pack that I want to use. And I decide that there's no phrases that I want there. So I went ahead and pulled out my Tim Holtz Small Talk pack. And I found three phrases that kind of went with the theme I was going for. So this one says, live, live your dream with passion. And then the one by the bottom photo is going to say, stay strong. And then the top photo is going to say, choose to shine. And I'm just adding those into my little embellishment clusters um, so that it just kind of reinforces the theme of the page. And that one I decided um, underneath the title just says, hold on tight to your dreams. And so that one really went with the movie itself. So I decided to put that one just centered underneath my title. And I kind of like how that adds a little bit of an element there. I do have those splatters that I've kind of let um, go down the page for my design work at the top. And so it adds a little bit more detail to those areas. And then I'm going to go ahead and come in with some enamel dots. And I am using a bluish color, a turquoise, and then I'm going to add in, um, I start out with this really pale pink, and I don't like how that looks. I was trying to find something that would kind of bring in um, the Moana character's outfit in the picture. So I start with this really pale yellow, or pale pink, and I decide that I really don't like that. So I go ahead and pull that off and go with a more vibrant color, and I end up liking that a lot better. So here you see that pale color going away, and then the more vibrant pink coming back. And it adds just a pop of color that's also seen in the photos. And then I finish it off with some Color Shine and Sweet Cherry that kind of ties in that little bit of pink detailing. And so I really hope you enjoyed the three ways that I showed you how to use these thicker words, even though this layout was a huge challenge for me. I'm happy with how it turned out. And so I created the background element using it as a stencil. I cut out those 3D pockets as the second. And then I also strung together a bunch of words and letters to make one bigger title element for my page. Do make sure that you stop by and check out Sarah's video. And we'll be back again soon with another Rediscover Your Stash. Do make sure you leave us a comment if you have an item or a product that is in your stash that you would like some new ideas on how to use. See you again soon. Bye.